Hello. In today's video, I am going to be analyzing some photographs that I've taken. And the first two are going to be a shot of Aylmer Island. So the first one is taken with my D90, and the second is taken with my P1000. This is my Nikon D90. It's a DSLR, and I was using my 70 to 300 millimeter zoom lens zoomed in all the way and of course the other one is my p1000 which is right here the first thing that i noticed when i did take these photos was that there was some reasonable loss of detail as i would expect between my d90 and my p1000 but when i look and compare a few things there's a lot of interesting factors that are involved so the first one is the two were taking minutes apart from each other so the lighting conditions were very similar and if you'll notice my p1000 took an exposure of 1 1 60th of a second i had it stopped down to f8 which was pretty high actually and if I compare it with this one it was f5.6 this one was at 1 1 thousandth of a second I'm gonna have to go back and double check to see what the lowest f-stop number is at that focal length but the thing to remember about the p1000 is that zoomed in all the way the focal length is 539 and I'll get to that in a few minutes. They claim a an equivalent focal length in 35 millimeter film of 3000. If I compare that with my D90, the focal length was 300 with an equivalent focal length in 35 millimeter of 450. So the next thing I want to look at is the sensor size. So on my D90, it says that the sensor size was 23 millimeters by 15 millimeters. And on the P1000, it's 6 millimeters by 4.6 millimeters. So much smaller. So the next thing I wanted to do was compare how they look in something like Photoshop, or I use GIMP in this case. And I zoomed in each one so that this lighthouse thing whatever it is it's not really a lighthouse I guess it's like a navigation beacon probably maybe at night there might be a light at the top here I don't know so if I compare the p1000 to the d90 you can see that there's a lot of detail that's lost naturally because it's not zoomed in nearly as far you can see a lot of details of the space between the leaves and the scenery behind it here and in here a lot of it looks washed out so then what i did was i took the two and i put them here side by side actual size and um, next thing i did was i scaled this so this this one is about 730 percent larger than this one maybe so this one is seven times larger than this one so then i decided to use this one to scale them up a bit i didn't quite line it up and i probably didn't zoom in quite nearly enough I used a, um, I think it's the cubic interpolation uh, algorithm. So it looks very well undefined, I guess. But basically, uh, when I finally sat down and I compared the two side by side, I was actually amazed how relatively crisp this one still looks, even though this is much farther away. This part was to compare two different cameras and how they zoom and what their capturing capabilities are. I also wanted to talk about this picture, which I took, and I wanted to know how big each of these sailboats are. And of course, the easiest way you can do that is to assume that if, let's say, one person here, one way you can do it is to 
find something or someone that is of a size that you can estimate. And then from there, you can use that as a scale factor to figure out what the rest of it is. So let's just look, let's measure how tall this person is from, let's say maybe their head to their seat, and it's about 177 pixels. So let's assuming that let's assume that this person is about roughly six feet tall. 177 pixels divided by three feet is 59 pixels per foot. Let's figure out how tall these sailboats are. And I was thinking to myself, how tall is a sailboat and really what is the measurement? So I went and I found this that gives all kinds of measurements on measuring a sailboat. And at this point, I'm only really interested in the height of the main halyard sheave box. I guess that's what they call it. So it's going to be the length of P. So P is going to be pretty much from the top here to the E, which is, what is this? This is the boom arm. So if I'm going to measure P, so it's going to be about roughly from there to there, we get 1524 pixels divided by 59. That's about 25.8 feet. So I could probably guess that this is a 30 foot sailboat maybe. Uh, let's just do the math here. So we got 1857. Yeah, 31, so I mean it's roughly if I go this far here, it's probably going to be, and then just bring it back up, it's probably going to be about a 30 foot. So this is probably a 30 foot sailboat. And what about this one? So if I go and measure from about roughly there to there, 1044 divided by 59. So that's about 17 foot. And so this one's probably going to be about a 20 foot sailboat. So 1257. That's 21.3. So yeah, so that's probably, so this is probably a 20 foot sailboat. And this one is probably a 30 foot sailboat. So what else can we do? When I was going back through the photos that I took earlier this summer and I was asking myself these questions, how big are these sailboats? How far away are they? Is there a way to estimate how far away they are, etc., etc.? I got to thinking, is there a tool that will let you measure those things easily? And so I did a little bit of research and you can sort of do it here. This is probably similar to what I did here. Uh, you can't, uh, okay, so it's best if the reference object and whatever you want to measure are near each other and at the same distance from the camera. Uh, this one here, measuring distances on pictures. Again, this is similar to what I did, determining real object dimensions from images. As long as you know the focal length and the object image, both okay. So this is uh, this is the theory behind it. Can anyone suggest free scientific measure? Uh, okay, I require measuring distances with a single photo. Again, similar thing. Uh, just record color, but not the. Th so I had done a quick Google search, and it was very quick. It seems to me that there are no tools out there that let you analyze a photograph by looking at the sensor size, the focal length, how many pixels per millimeter there are, so on and so forth, being able to estimate a, 
an object and then from there be able to calculate the distance. So there's a lot of things that we can get from an image like this. I can't really find a tool out there yet. So I already started working on a slightly different project, but I was thinking of doing something similar where you load an image like this. It will look at the EXIF data, particularly the focal length, and you may you might have to give it a few other dimensions, such as the sensor size, etc. But from that, I would like to be able to measure an object and from that be able to determine how tall other things are and to estimate how far they were away from you. So that's what I've got going at the moment. I'm still working on my gyro compass build. I found a few interesting things. I'll probably make another video at some point soon. I would like to finish that one off so that I could get that off my workbench and then start working on some of my other projects as well. So that's it for the moment. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you again in another video soon enough. Bye for now.